What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Show and Tech. So the Formula GTV is my favorite Android box, not named the Nvidia Shield. This is easily my second favorite Android box on the market right now. And you know, I do have an Nvidia Shield in my living room, but this is the box that I've been using in the bedroom for a very long time now. So I've done a review on this box already, but the reason for this video today is because there's been a very recent upgrade released for the Formula GTV as it's been upgraded to the Android 10 and the latest firmware for the My TV Online 2 application. So what that brings with it are a number of new features. You've got access to the DualShock 4 PlayStation controller being able to connect to this guy if you're using it to play video games using Stadia or whatever it might be. But most importantly, they've added some new features that makes this a very user-friendly box. If you've got anybody in your house like I do who isn't the most tech savvy and they just want the box to work and be able to get to channels um, without having to really think about it, then there's a brand new feature here where you're able to use the built-in microphone on the remote and you can just say the name of the channel. It'll automatically open up My TV Online 2 and jump to the channel that you've set. On top of that, you've also got the ability to add uh, the My TV Online 2 app as a banner on your homepage and that's going to be able to cover for you any recent TV shows you've been watching via the VOD section, any movies, whatever have you and also a really cool history ribbon that shows all the channels that you've watched where if you highlight it even from the home screen, it plays a live feed of what's going on on that channel. So without wasting any more time, we're gonna jump into what I feel are the most important features of this latest upgrade. So if you're somebody who already owns a Formula GTV box, you're gonna be met with this message that says Android 10 upgrade for Formula, Formula GTV firmware version uh, 10. So you have the option of hitting the details button here and it'll bring you to the update section where you can check for the update and quickly hit download and it'll do that for you. So as you can see, it's a pretty large download at 788 megabytes um, and it comes with those features that I discussed very briefly in the intro. So I'm going to go ahead and update this box. This is a newer one here that I've set up just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, so that everybody gains the same understanding. So I'm going to go ahead and download that now. So once you have the Android 10 update done, you're going to go and now update the uh, My TV Online 2 firmware. So in order to do that, you're going to come to this screen right here. It's just the same process as before, where you hit Start Upgrade. It's going to quickly download and install that. And then you're going to be able to have access to those new features. All right. So once you've got everything updated, you'll notice that it doesn't really look that much different than what we're used to seeing. However, there have been a couple of features and I'm only going to go over the features that I find to be the most useful. And there are two of them. So if you are someone like me who has other people living with you who are not the most tech savvy, they don't really, you know, want to learn the ins and outs of an Android box. All they want to know is, does it work and can I get to the channels that I want to watch? So with this new Android 10 update and the new firmware update to My TV Online 2, there is the amazing feature of being able to use the built-in microphone on the remote to get you to the channel that you want to watch. So let's say, for example, I want to watch uh, a very popular Canadian news channel called CP24. I can hold the mic button down, play CP24 and automatically it's going to open up to the CP24 channel on uh, whichever server it is that you're connected to through my TV online. Now it's pretty good. It's pretty accurate. However, I do find that, for example, if I want to look at a network like HBO that has numerous channels uh, and I say play HBO, what's going to happen is it's going to take me to the very first HBO channel and it's not going to be able to get me to the other. So for example, HBO. So just like that, it opens up to HBO one. But if we back out again and try to say, let's say, for example, HBO two. HBO two channel. So as you can see, it is very dependent on the channel. It's going to have to have a very clear name, something that they can pick up on very easily, such as you know, your ESPNs, like I said, your CB24, uh, TSN, pay-per-view, whatever it might be. 
um, your movie channels. But at the end of the day, it is a lot easier and it's pretty reliable for, um, as we've been saying, people who are not the most tech savvy. Now, another thing that I like about this update is if you go down to the customized channels section at the bottom, uh, you now have the ability to throw a My TV Online 2 ribbon right onto your homepage. And as you can see here, there are four options. So I can put my favorite TV series, recent channels, TV series history, and VOD history. So if we were to go and turn all those on and see what they look like, you can see here that um, in the server, I've watched Entourage in the VOD section. So it's gonna show up there. Any other show that I watch as a VOD, so if I jump in, um, this is favorited right now, but let's say, I don't know, I go ahead and I favorite uh, this Ancient Aliens, don't even know what that is, but I favorite that. Theoretically, when I back out and I look at my TV series, oops, and I look at my TV series, as you can see, there is now Ancient Aliens and Entourage. So again, if you're someone that watches the same stuff over and over, or you've been watching a series and you don't wanna to have to go through all the menus to find what it is that you've been watching, um, just by having it in your favorites, or even just by having it in your TV series history, so something that you've watched recently, so my wife's been watching Manifest and I've been rewatching Entourage, then those things show up there. On top of that, you have this uh, recent channels ribbon as well. So let's say you were watching, again, Keeping Up the Kardashians on one channel and you're flipping back and forth between the news and, I don't know, the hockey game, right? Usually you'd be flipping through all those channels manually and it gets kind of annoying. This here allows you to look at those recent channels and flip through them. And then as you saw, when you stop and highlight a channel, it'll actually bring up the live feed for you. So you can get a little preview of what's playing on that channel without actually having to click on it, which is a very nice feature. Now, aside from that, there are other features that have been added with this update. To me, I find these two to be the most important, the most useful. If you're more of a savvy user and you have like your own server or a dedicated storage system where you store all of your movies and TV shows, then there's a feature there where you're able to add that storage um, remotely to your box through the settings. If I go up here and uh, down to device preferences and then down to storage, you see that there's the network storage option. So you're able to, through your home network, um, add that server or whatever it is that you're using to store that data or store those files, connect it to your Formula G TV, and then you're able to watch stuff directly off that box on whatever TV it is that your Formula is connected to in your house. And so that's pretty much it. The new updates for the Formula G TV make great use of the built-in microphone on the remote to make the ease of use that much better for users in your household who really just don't understand Android boxes or don't really care to learn the ins and outs. They can just simply press the Google assistant button, turn the microphone on and say whatever channel it is that they want to go to. And then now they're able to watch TV without having to call you every two seconds to help them figure out what it is that's going on. On top of that, if you've got a gamer in the house that already owns a PlayStation and they want to dabble in Stadia, they're able to connect their DS4 controller, so their PlayStation uh, DualShock 4 Gen 1 controller to the Stadia and make use of that for all of their gaming. And then on top of that, You've got the ability now to connect easily to your offsite storage. So if you've got a server in your house or anything that's storing media that you want to stream directly to your box, you can now add that through the network to your firmware GTV and watch that from anywhere in your house. So there's a lot of features that have been packed into this new Android 10 slash uh, my TV online 2 firmware update that make this box even better than it already was. And at the price point of roughly $220 Canadian, you really can't go wrong with this. So that's been it for me on the Formula GTV Android 10 updates. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.